Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno. I'm the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm going to be talking about celebrity style. Specifically, I'm going to give you three examples, three reasons why celebrities can dress the way they do and how you can learn from that. This is based off a reader's question. Had one of you guys email me. You're asking specifically, Antonio, I see how you know Bruno Mars is dressing. Can I wear a hat like him? Or I've had some of you guys email me, okay, I see Zac Efron. I see this shirt he's wearing. It looks really great. Do you think I can pull this off with my build and my body type? Guys, today I'm going to dive into the three reasons why you can or can't and in many cases shouldn't try to do what the celebrities are doing. But before we get into it, you know what I'm going to ask. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so these videos come right to you and you don't miss any ghost videos. In addition, if you want more information, go to Real Men Real Style. I've got that great free ebook and if you like this video, click on the like. Okay, so reason number one, why can celebrities pull this off? I mean, let's look at Brad Pitt, uh, Bradley Cooper, who else do we got? Johnny Depp, uh, Pharrell Williams, all of these guys, you look at how they're going out there. You see them on the cover of GQ magazine, Esquire. You watch television, you see them in the movies, you go to a, a concert, you see these guys pulling it off. What do these guys have that they can wear this clothing the way they wear it and look so great? The number one thing that they have is confidence. If you have confidence, believe me, you can pull off a lot of things when it comes to style, when it comes to fashion. You can wear hats. I mean, really it comes down to you need to be comfortable walking into a room and having everyone stare at you and in a sense notice you. Throughout life, we walk through and most of the time people don't give us a second look. Now, I know some of you guys are saying, well, of course they do. You know, I've, <laughs> oh, okay. But really, if you're walking down the street in New York City, I mean, there's just so many people, so many things that can grab your attention. It's really women, I think, that uh, we live in a society, we live in a world in which they are often viewed at very, it's, it's very visual in their world. But for men, it's a lot less so. You know, I don't know if it's going to change, but I will say that's the way it is. However, if a guy starts to, in a sense, peacock, he starts to wear a hat, he starts to wear certain colors, he wears certain items which stand him out from the crowd. Let's say you wanted to start wearing a kilt. Believe me, you're going to start getting attention. And the number one rule for wearing a kilt is to have the confidence and the knowledge to be able to pull it off, which, by the way, I'm going to be putting out a video and I'll be talking about kilts here pretty soon. But if you're going to pull off something like a really nice shirt and you know it's going to, you're going to walk into a club and you're going to stand out, you're going to look different from everyone else. Number one, take from celebrities what they have, which is confidence. They have, they're used to people tearing them down, saying, you know, not so great things about it. And they've developed this really thick layer of skin that uh, they, things just, you know, it's like water on a duck, just rolls right off. So if you have confidence, you can pull off almost anything. And that's the first thing you can learn from celebrities. Number two is understanding the halo effect. So you've already got an impression. When I say Brad Pitt, when I say Ryan Gosling, when I say Daniel Craig, these stars come to mind, you already have an opinion of them. That's called the halo effect. In a sense, they really haven't earned it, but because of the characters they play, and let's, let's use Daniel Craig. He's been playing the James Bond. He's been playing it very well. Very well respected for how he's brought and re, in a sense, given the franchise kind of a boost of needed energy. Because of that, he can pull off a lot of looks and he dresses in a way that we give him a lot of the goodwill that's associated with his character. Now, this goes over, let's say, Justin Timberlake. Now, here, and I'll talk about him a little bit later, but here's another guy. If you're listening to his music, you really enjoy his music, you're going to give him a lot of leeway and the positive feelings. However, if you don't like him or if there are certain stars that, in a sense, you've got a negative feeling, you actually would associate that as well. So, the number two was the halo effect. How does this pertain to you or me? Well, if you're around people that already know you well, perhaps your family, perhaps colleagues that already respect you, you can actually go a little bit out on a limb and they're going to give you, you know, in a sense, they're not necessarily going to judge you for that. They're going to pass on the goodwill and they're going to say, oh, well, he's trying something new. However, if you are going into a new environment, you might want to be careful and initially pull back your style. So that's how it's, you know, pertains to you. Now, number three, image is their profession. So, what do I mean by that? Well, these guys usually have stylists. They're getting paid to actually wear certain bits of clothing. And really when it comes down to it, because image is their profession, whether it be acting, whether it be, you know, music, 
they actually, they have to pay attention to this. It's a big part of who they are. Even Willie Nelson, I mean, this guy, he crafted an image of who he is and what he stands for. If you look at him over the years, I mean, it really is very interesting how he managed that image. Johnny Cash, you look at a lot of classic country western uh, musicians, they went with certain looks. I think it was Clint Black when he showed up to, uh, to Nashville and he was the only guy wearing the black hat at the time. Black hats weren't popular and they told him, or he was was told basically to go to the white hat and he chose to you know go with his black western hat and the rest is you know history for him and the direction he wanted to go with his music so johnny cash what was it he always wore black it was just something it made it very easy for him but these guys because they get on front of a stage because they're in front of a camera they truly understand you look at guys and i mentioned justin timberlake his father was a banker he was around a well-dressed man growing up, and it was something that he took and he incorporated into his style going forward. He learned from his dad the importance of fit, the importance of dressing for the occasion. Let's look at uh, David Beckham. His mother was a seamstress. He understood clothing growing up, and that's why, you know, being a footballer, he has been able to mix sports, style, and fashion, bring it all together. So hopefully, you guys, you found this useful. What I would say again is go back to point number one. You see a celebrity wearing something, understand he's got incredible confidence. If you've got the confidence, why not? Go for it. But my recommendation would be to start off slow. Maybe look at a, look at a celebrity, mimic a few things, but keep it Keep it a little bit maybe more conservative. Share it with those that are close to you. Try to use that halo effect. And then once you build up your strong understanding, then hey, you can bend and start breaking a lot of rules. Guys, I will see you in the next video. Again, remember, if you want more, I always create articles that are related to these videos. Go check them out at Real Men Real Style. I usually link to them right below in the comments. And if you've got a comment, you want something to add, if you feel I missed something, please let me know. Take care, see you in the next video.